Here are brief histories of the mysteriously dead and near-death who opposed President Putin and his interests. Alexei Navalny Russia's leading opposition leader Alexei Navalny He flew to Germany for treatment after being poisoned with Novichok in Siberia. The Kremlin has denied the allegations regarding the situation. Navalny again voluntarily returned to Russia and became known worldwide, and was arrested as soon as he arrived in the country. He is currently behind bars on various charges that he claims are politically motivated. Navalny's opposition political movement was declared illegal and extremist. This month, a court in Russia extended Navalny's sentence by another 19 years, finding him guilty of the harshest prison conditions in the country. Sergei Skripal Former Russian agent Sergei Skripal, who passed state secrets to British intelligence, and his daughter Yulia. The Scripples, who were found unconscious on a bench in front of a shopping centre in Salisbury, England, were both hospitalised in serious condition. British officials said they were poisoned. Both survived after the incident. Russia has denied any involvement in the poisoning and said Britain was fomenting anti-Russian hysteria. Vladimir Karamurza Russian opposition activist Vladimir Karamurza claimed that he was poisoned. According to the medical examinations carried out by the German laboratory, high levels of mercury, copper, manganese and zinc were found in it, but it was denied by the authorities. Alexander Litvinenko Former agent and Putin rival Alexander Litvinenko He died at the age of 43 in a London hotel after drinking green tea laced with polonium, a rare and highly radioactive isotope. Based on the investigations, it was said that Putin consented to the murder. The Kremlin has denied any involvement in the incident. As a result of the investigation conducted by the British judge, it was revealed that the murder was carried out by Andrei Lugovoy, Russian citizen Dmitry Kovtun, and possibly by the Russian Federal Security Service. It should be noted that Litvinenko fled from Russia to England six years before the poisoning. Alexander Perepilikny Alexander, 44, was found dead near his luxury London home after going for a morning walk. Alexander Perepilikny fled to Great Britain after helping a Swiss investigation into Russia's money laundering scheme. Sudden death leads to the possibility that he was murdered. British police have ruled out murder, despite suspicions that he may have been killed by a rare poison. At the investigation session, it was revealed that traces of a rare and deadly poison from the yellow lilac plant were found in his stomach. Viktor Yushchenko Earlier, Viktor Yushchenko, the leader of the Ukrainian opposition, was poisoned during the presidential election campaign. Yushchenko claimed that he was poisoned while having lunch with officials of the Ukrainian intelligence service outside Kiev. Of course, Russia said it had nothing to do with it. It was determined that he had more dioxin in his body than normal. Due to poisoning, his face and body were disfigured and he underwent many operations. It should be noted that after the Supreme Court of Ukraine rejected the results of the declaration of Viktor Yanukovych as the winner, during the street protests called the Orange Revolution, he was elected president in re-elections. Anna Polikovskaya Journalist Anna Polikovskaya, who covered human rights violations, was shot in front of her apartment in Moscow after returning home from the market. The killing of 48-year-old Polikovskaya caused great repercussions in the West and in Russia.